let's talk about um, this surge lift surge bonus algorithmic wage discrimination that's happening at LAX. Uh, yeah. You'll be able to fill us in. Unfortunately, the screenshots that we have from the phones are pretty fuzzy. Um, you, you know, unfortunately, sometimes uh, if, when people are taking pictures, uh, they might not be as sharp as they need. So um, I have it blown up pretty big on my computer here. Um, it might be difficult for you to see if you're watching on the phone or anything like that, um, but we'll break it down for you exactly what's going on. Yeah. Um, Chris's eyes are better. Okay. So I was at LAX yesterday for about five hours, six hours. Um, this is not happening on Uber. This is only happening on Lyft. And, um, so why I was at LAX is not the issue. Uh, I did a few trips obviously, but um the story will come out in probably early november what we're working on um however a few drivers that no and the pen was full chris literally there was like 500 cars there bro everybody waiting and i'm like why are oh, wow. you all here why are you all here i mean i'm like <laughs> we'll just go out there and do some trips because because we all know the people at lax like and to like, party instead of drive <laughs> yeah so they go look search look what's happening and i'm like okay a few people recognize me and i'm like whatever hey how's it going whatever and they put their phones down side by side just like you know remember our tests we did in chicago with the ev shaving and with the yep. you know algorithmic wage discrimination the drivers getting the two brothers when i was in tests. chicago with the drivers and exactly. we had our our la yeah exactly yeah that was that and then uh so they put their phones down in the trunk literally like all three of them and there's more they go look at the, look at my surge look at the guy in the surge down the middle and look at the guy on the right and i'm like how's that this is all simultaneously taken okay i mean it, they the, the reason the picture is fuzzy is because it's not a screenshot the, the phone's down and took a picture of the phones okay mm -hmm. What does the so what does the search say on the left, Chris? I can't. Twenty one dollar bonus zone, baby. Okay, well, how about the guy in the middle? Four dollars. Four dollars. How about the Jack guy on the right? Four bucks. Yeah. And how about the guy on the right? Twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. So lucky winner is on the right. I'm going like, how is that possible? I go. One guy gets twenty five. The poor schmuck in the middle get four. I go like, sorry, buddy. And this did not adjust, by the way. It was like this, because as you guys can see on the bottom with Lyft, the sticky actually works a lot better than Uber's. And it yep. was it. Was it. This is 21 bonus surge zone on the next one, 4 and 25. I'm like, are you guys seeing this in airports, in different airports around the country? Because this, has been, this was happening at LAX all day long yesterday. Everybody had a different surge number. Now, I talked to some of them saying, you know, are you like a high AR driver? Do you have a high cancellation rate? Do you have this? And they're going to oh, fairly about the same. Most of them were. But uh, Lyft decided to just show different love to different drivers. Now, well, I, I mean, look, I'm happy that the guy got 25 on the right. But if I was the guy in the middle, I, I don't think I'd be too happy with that. Would you? No, not at all. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, see, the, the difference is not like, you know, fifty it's cents, not like, a, like a dollar or something. No, I mean, like yeah. between so between hard. the low and the high, it's twenty one dollars. And what if you know the, the one person gets the ride, the other person could have had the same ride, and uh -huh. they're going to get paid twenty one dollars more. Yeah, and and I'm like, okay, I'm not sure. I go, I don't know what this is. They're asking me like, what is? Why is this? I go, I don't know. I honestly don't know. And there was we have another one, but I think they put four or five phones down side by side. Yeah, there's five. And, uh, yeah, and that's this one. And this is five phones, five different drivers, and all five are different searches. I go like, okay, I I have nothing to say. I don't know. So yeah, I will. It's kind of hard to see it. this one. Yeah. And then the next one uh, that's up, it's pretty a little clear. easier to see. Yeah, okay, this one is pretty clear. Okay, so um, you know, fourteen twenty-five on one. Again, four on the other one. Is it four? Yeah, four. Yeah. And ten on the and then other. They hit one. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know how another, this works. Another ten dollar and twenty-five seven that ten dollar and twenty-five cent difference between low and high right there. Yeah, I don't know how and it works. Li they're, they're literally all the same. And you can't say you can't say, oh well, one's a iPhone or Android issue because you know on the the first screenshots that we showed, the iPhone was the highest at the twenty-five dollars, 
then you see here the two iPhones are lower than the Android. So it's not even a, like a phone thing either. Okay, there's a good question. Right here, Lisa's question might explain it. The surge amounts could vary by what tiers the driver has turned on. No, no, these were all, they were all on standard, not Lux. This is, they were, we made sure that they were all on standard, not, um, you know, Lux, Lux Black. These are all like Priuses. They're all driving Priuses. One guy was driving a rental. Um, so it wasn't, uh, I figured that already. No, it wasn't like Lux, Lux Black and this and that. No, it wasn't that. They were all, and I'm like, I am not sure what this is. And so I'm going to send this to Lyft. Let's see if they have an answer for it, Chris. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't know, but pretty interesting. So if you are in the airport, if you wait at the airport for some reason, uh, why don't you get out, talk to a couple of different drivers yeah. and see what may, maybe they have versus you. Uh, and if this is happening you know, in LAX, this is happening all over. Then the other thing too, not just at the airports, stand <laughs> around where there's some business are going on. Uh, if you know a couple of Lyft drivers in your area, get together, grab a coffee, throw your phones on and see what kind of bonuses you're getting. Go during the busy times so you can see and then grab a cup of coffee, grab a screenshot. And after you're done with that screenshot, uh, take a couple of rides and, you know, make that money. But at least that way we can kind of see, is this just limited to the airport? Is this, you know, something in LAX, LA, or is this something that's a little more widespread? Yeah, and uh, Roxy's question makes sense, but um, the answer to that, Roxy, is w when it starts surging, it's showing a different surge for everybody, regardless of how long you've been. You're in the back of the queue, you're front of the queue, it didn't make any difference. It's just when it, from no surge, surge starts showing up, and different surge amounts are showing for different drivers. It didn't make, I don't think it makes any difference when they came into the queue, when they, how long you, they've been there, I, I don't think that makes any difference because surge is dynamic. It wasn't like surging all the time. We were waiting until for it to surge. And when it did surge, everybody was looking at a different surge price. You could have come in two minutes ago and there was no surge. But when it kicked in, it was all different prices for all three, three four, the five different drivers. So I don't know. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, sure, it should be the same, Connie. Yeah, but I don't think, uh, yep. I think we may have stumbled into this anyway. So we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, so we're asking for you guys, if you see this, if you know what's going on or, or anything where it comes to the difference, yeah. shoot us uh, some emails and let us know. All right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me The Money Club with Sergio and myself, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.